It was a night of expecting the unexpected. <laughs> Deep into the darkness, trainees in their white shirts peered out. <laughs> dreamt of standing here, but mere dreamers are never welcome inside this camp. If you have to crawl to achieve your goal, then crawl you must. If honor meant eating mud, then swallow all your pride and learn to obey. This is a place where old habits are washed. And individuals who manage to surpass trials and trainings are molded to become the armed forces of the Philippines' future leaders. The sun has awoken. It's a brand new day of surviving. Here at Camp O'Donnell in Kapastarlak. Baccalaureate degree holders are trained to be the armed forces of the Philippines' future officers. If in the regular military school, a cadet is required to finish four years of military education and training, at the OCS, your college diploma plus one year schooling and training could just be a ticket to AFP. Here in OCS, we have uh, meron kaming mga focused areas. We have the leadership development, the military skills and knowledge development. So with that leadership development, it is the foundation for their character development. So this one year of training is only focused to military training to include their leadership and the skills that uh, they should acquire as uh, second lieutenants and to become competent officers. But if you think this is a crash course to military school, we'll think again. Bago ako nag-join ng OCS kasi, ROTC Advanced Graduate ako. That's why meron akong motivation prior na talagang magsundalo. At the same time, yung father ko din kasi is in the military service. So immediately after graduating, nag-join ako kasi naisip ko yung mga klase ko na graduate na actually I'm a graduate of MASCOM. Doon na sila sa mga regular playing fields ng MASCOM. So naghanap ako ng field kung saan pwede kong gamitin yung pinag-aralan ko ng four years na at least hindi masado yung competition ko. So pumasok ko ko sa military na hoping na dito magagamit ko pa rin yung PR ko and MASCOM. Pero at the same time, nagsaserve ako bilang sundalo. Uh, bago kami makuha sa OCS, is meron kailangan namin baccalaureate degree. So parang nagiging flexible kami kapag nandito kami sa OCS, ina-apply namin yung dati naming kurso at saka yung ina-apply ng Army sa amin. Trainee Officer Lopez recalled it was pure hard work from the first day of your entry until your last training. Um, sa totoo lang po, nung una, is medyo mahirap. Kasi I'm from former civilian, then biglang babaguhin yung civilian antics ko, ta-transform to military actuations, yung pagiging proper, yung ibang way of life or routine, daily routines. Mahirap yung adaptation, pero nando naman yung challenge and uh, goal na kapag ito natapos ko, sigurado bagong tao na ako. There's never an easy day inside the camp. Even at mealtime, one must pour sweat before he or she could swallow a spoonful of rice. Ayan, na-develop yung ano, pagka-self-control. Kasi, di ba, maintindihan mo yung, ay, ganyan talaga yan, training nga eh. Ayan. So in the end, hindi ka na magagalit, parang... Mag-enjoy ka na nga eh. Actually ngayon, pag, ano, pag sinasabi lang, ano, may kasalanan kayo, mag-exercise kayo, parang nakasmile na kami lahat, gano'n. So, na-accept na namin na gano'n talaga. 
OCS began in 1937 during the formation of the School Reserve Commission. If we talk about regular military school, OCS is a regular military school. So there's no difference between uh, training institutions in the Philippine Army. But if you are talking about PMA and OCS, uh, the difference is that PMA is uh, a four-year combination of a baccalaureate degree and a military training. While OCS, we are training individuals who are already uh, graduates or already have their bachelor's degree. And OCS focused on uh, military training only for one year for the officer candidate course and six months for the officer preparatory course. After OCS, uh, currently the program is they will be having their Scout Ranger Orientation course and after that it would depend on the Philippine Army uh, because the Philippine Army is the one who selected these uh, individuals and it's the Philippine Army that will uh, assign them to their respective units. The school lives by the motto, Valor, Integrity, and Duty. At the OCS reception, persecution begins at day one. This will be the beginning of a solid physical training. Intensive learning. And excruciating mental stress. One will surely have to crawl his way throughout the whole training period to be worthily called probationary second lieutenant. Witness the close to reality combat training. Archer, this is Starshed, over. Physical, emotional, and psychological strength is tried, tested, and honed inside the OCS. Each OC candidate is given a probationary rank as second lieutenant. Continue, conduct, ambush, at vicinity, Lima, Won, Papa Tango Tango. Inside the school building, lectures are taught like ordinary classes. But on field, it's a totally different battle. All was well that ended well for the tactical training. Sabi na isip ko mahirap pala. Hindi pala basta-basta yung ginagawa ng sundal. Kahit nasa training pa lang kami, pinaparanas na sa amin paano yung uh, stability under pressure, yung paano kami mag-isip na hindi man lang nakaratel. Yung kahit alam mong magulong-magulo na yung paligid mo, pero sta stable pa rin yung pag-isip mo at nakakapag-decide ka pa rin ng tama. Since its establishment, more than 3,000 officers have graduated from the Officer Candidate School. I would describe our journey in the OCS as difficult. Yes, we have been defeated in many instances. We have been at our lowest 
and I've been pushed to our limits. Sobrang hirap talaga ng training. Kaya lang kasi nung naging presidente ako ng klase namin at the same time, uh, battalion commander, parang hindi mo maisip mag-quit eh. Kasi may mga taong umaasa sa'yo na pag ako nag-quit ako, sila din mag-quit na din. At the same time, very supportive yung family ko sa akin. Ayokong i-fail sila. Yung fear ko of failing those who believe in me, yung nag-sustain sa akin. Never talaga, never ko naisip mag-quit. Okay, good morning. Um, tapos na yung activity natin. So, we will be having our AAR. Pumasok na ako dito, wala na akong ano, wala na akong mukhang iaharap sa labas kung wala labas ako. Pero yung ano, yung dahil pinarusahan ka tapos isipin mo na umuwi na lang ako, ganun. hindi ko naisip yun. Attached to the badge is a heavier responsibility for our nation. They were degree holders who had different goals and purpose. After reaching day 365 of OCS schooling, they are binded with a common goal to serve the country with honor, pride, and dignity. Sa atin, hindi lang maglilingkod sa bayan. Gusto ko balang araw kapag naging general ako o kaya naging mataas ako sa Philippine Army is yung reforma na ngayon ini-instill sa amin is masustain ko kung ano yung mga changes sa institution, sa organization at kung paano namin pinaglilingkuran yung bayan. Gusto ko yun yung i-maintain namin. Uh, nandyan yung values of valor, integrity, and duty na ituturo ko rin sa mga kapwa ko sundan, yung kapwa ko opisan. Yun lang, simple lang siya pero kapag ganun lahat ng tao, marami kang na-inspire, marami kang na-influence, siguro makaka-influensya din siya dun sa kabuuan natin bilang organisasyon na Philippine Army, AFP, bilang isang Pilipinas na bansa. Yun lang. For the newly graduates of four-year courses, you too can serve our country. Take the challenge. Join the OCS.